This is a demonstration of the allele, genotype, phenotype interactive illustration from SciencePrimer.com. This illustration explores the relationship between the alleles present in a diploid organism, the organism's genotype, and its phenotype. A link to the illustration can be found in the video description. The organism is a plant. The gene controls flower color. There are two different alleles for this gene and the plant is diploid, so it contains two copies. The controls at the top change the alleles present at the flower color locus and the type of dominance. When the page first loads, the plant has two red alleles and the red allele exhibits complete dominance. The flower is gray because no information is being displayed. The genotype and phenotype can be shown using the switches below. The best way to use this illustration is to guess the patterns prior to visualizing them. With two red alleles and complete dominance, the organism is homozygous, and since red is dominant, it is homozygous dominant. The phenotype is red. In addition to seeing the genotype and phenotype, the alleles can be visualized as colored circles. This is just a different way to view the information shown in the upper, by the upper and lowercase genotype letters. The selectors allow us to change the alleles present and view the impact on the plant's genotype and phenotype. With one white and one red allele, the organism becomes heterozygous at this locus. Since red exhibits complete dominance, the phenotype does not change. In order to change the phenotype, the organism must have two recessive alleles. The final controller allows us to toggle from complete to incomplete dominance. By making the dominance of the red allele incomplete, an intermediate phenotype, in this case pink, is possible.